hey guys so welcome to this um, next video in our PySpark tutorial series today we're gonna show you how to uh, read JSON files into a data frame using PySpark and Databricks so um, yeah let's dive right into it so we can begin by sort of um, up uploading the data into our DBFS or into the Databricks file store so as you can see I've gone into data dbfs and in my file store I've created a folder named json and I've just updated some data called mock data dot json and sample data dot json so if, if you didn't have the data here you can just click upload create the directory and upload a json file from your local system to work with I've got a video on uploading files and I'll link to that in the top right corner of the screen you can watch that if you've not seen it so once we've uploaded the mock data JSON, I'll just show you what that looks like. Very simple. It's just two rows of data with an ID, first name, last name, email, gender, and IP address. So just very simple uh, two rows of data just to get uh, you guys familiar with the concept. So what we can do is there's basically two methods uh, to load JSON data into a data frame. I'm going to show you both. The first one is uh, spark.read.format. So to do that, we create a data frame and we just do spark.read.format and then we can specify the file type which is JSON in this case and then we do load and then inside the brackets we can specify the path and if you remember from our CSV video, uh, getting the path is also quite simple, we just need to go to the file that we want to use copy path and use the spark api format so once that's copied go back and just paste it in there and then we can run this file we call it data frame one and it's completed so let's see uh, what data frame one looks like we can just do a display data frame one and run so yeah now we've got a uh, JSON uh, file into uh, Databricks in the form of a data frame using PySpark and that was the first method which was spark.read.format now we have a more specific method which allows us more customizability in the case of JSON files and that is I'll show you we call it data, data frame 2 or df2 and it is spark.read.json it's not format and then JSON inside brackets you can just do spark.read.json and then you can do a inside brackets you can do path is equal to and in uh, double quotes just paste the same path and if you run this you can see that that's completed and now we display the second data frame we get the same output so basically what's interesting about the second method which is spark.read.json is when we get into more advanced use cases there's a lot of customizability that is available to us specifically for json files and if you want to just um, just a quick tip for you guys if you want to see uh, what all functions are available to you for specific commands you can just put uh, help around the specific command help open brackets and then put the command in so if you write help spark.read.json it shows us what all customizabilities and functions we have available to us so you can see what all we have options available to so you can specify schema you can specify primitives as strings all that kind of stuff we can do in, in case we have multi-line files you can set multi-line to true so all that is available to us so that's why um, uh, most people tend to use spark.read.json uh, specifically when working with json files so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe or share comment and hit the bell icon i'll see you in the next one